Turkey officially entered a new era of defense and aerospace capability. With the successful production phase of the KAAN, its first fifth-generation fighter jet, the once ambitious vision of creating a fully domestically developed, stealthy, and air superiority fighter has now become a concrete achievement. The transition from prototype to production is a significant milestone. It confirms that Turkey is no longer simply integrating foreign systems, but is now capable of designing, developing, and producing its own advanced fighter jet. This achievement elevates the country to an elite group that includes the United States, Russia, and China as producers of fifth-generation platforms. The KAAN is designed to compete with advanced fighters such as the F-35 and Su-57. Its design incorporates stealth shaping, an internal weapons bay, and advanced radar-absorbing materials that help reduce radar signature and enable penetration of enemy airspace. With its angular fuselage lines, stealth coating, and internal weapons compartments, the Khan prioritizes survivability in contested environments. Turkey has invested heavily in artificial intelligence, sensor fusion, and battlefield networking to provide Khan pilots with unparalleled situational awareness. The aircraft integrates multiple sensors, including an AESA radar, and combines them into a coherent picture of the battlefield, designed for superior agility. The Khan combines an aerodynamically optimized airframe with powerful engines capable of sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, known as Super Cruise. One of the KAAN's key strengths is its advanced electronic warfare suite. The jet can jam enemy radars, full missile guidance systems, and operate confidently in zones of heavy electronic interference. Khan will carry Turkey's next generation air-to-air -air missiles such as the Gadokin and Bazda-1, as well as some cruise missiles, precision-guided bombs, and future hypersonic munitions. For decades, Turkey has relied heavily on foreign suppliers for its high-end air platforms, particularly its F-16 Fighting Falcon fleet. However, increasing restrictions on defense exports and an evolving threat landscape have pushed Ankara toward a fully independent path. KAAN's production is not only a defense success, it represents the maturity of Turkey's broader aerospace and industrial ecosystem. Companies such as Turkish Aerospace Industries, Aselsan, Rocketson, Havelson, and numerous local subcontractors have collaborated to integrate thousands of components, from flight control computers to stealth coatings. This large-scale industrial collaboration has resulted in high-tech jobs, new research facilities, advanced composite material production, local avionics and software systems, and engine development capabilities. These advances promise long-term economic and technological benefits beyond military applications. Entering mass production means the Turkish Air Force to off will soon begin replacing its older fourth-generation aircraft with Khan units. These jets will serve as the backbone of Turkey's air superiority force into the 2050s and beyond. Khan will also operate alongside Turkey's rapidly expanding fleet of unmanned combat aircraft, such as the Kizilelma, forming an ecosystem of man-in-man -man cooperation that reflects the strategy developed by the Advanced Air Force. One of the main implications of Turkey producing the KAAN fighter jet is its potential to penetrate the international fighter jet market. Many countries are seeking a modern alternative to the F-35, Eurofighter Typhoon, Rafale, or Gripen, but face strict export controls or budget constraints. With the Khan, Turkey can offer a fifth-generation aircraft at a more competitive price. Fewer political restrictions, high levels of customization for purchasing countries, strong logistical and maintenance support. Countries in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East have already shown early interest, even before mass production begins. If exports materialize, the Khan could reshape the global fighter jet competition. The production of the KAA and fighter jet sends a clear message. Turkey is no longer simply a consumer of world-class defense technology, but a major producer. The country has transitioned from dependency to leadership, developing its own advanced fighter aircraft with features that rival the best in the world. As Turkey continues to refine the jet, develop its own indigenous engine, and prepare for large-scale deployment, the Khan will serve as both a military asset and a powerful symbol of the country's aerospace ambitions. In the coming decades, this aircraft will define Turkey's role in the global defense landscape marking the beginning of a new chapter in which the country stands among the leading innovators in military aviation.